the Transportation Department is now looking for ways on how to make Naia more passenger friendly. This follows President Rodrigo Duterte's call for the agency to address the struggles of stranded individuals. Greg Gregorio has the report. Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade, along with other officials, inspected the Naia Terminal 3 on Wednesday. Due to insufficient seats inside the airport, some passengers had to camp outside its premises. The seats, said Tugade, were removed to enforce social distancing. But that's about to change. Para antemano, madagdagan, talawan libo yata kaagad yun, minimum, umpisa. The move follows the president's instruction that more seats should be set up for passengers. Duterte likewise ordered that Tugade get rid of some restaurants in the gateway. Upon checking all restaurants and cafes, Tugade said that establishments which aren't operating yet should open to provide space for stranded individuals. A VIP lounge will also be made available for stranded passengers. Minsan nakakansila yung mga palit, mga kwan, airlines, hindi po natin talaga 100 makontrol yun. Makikiusap po kami sa kanila. Ano ho? Kasi hindi ko naman normal itong kalagayan natin ngayon. But Togada reminded travelers only those with confirmed tickets will be allowed entry to the airport. Kasi isipin po natin yung high security demands ng isang paliparan na hindi natin pwedeng papasukin unlimited yung mga publiko. Tugade also visited those who are taking refuge at a waiting shed near the airport. Among them was Aileen, whose supposed flight to Davao Wednesday night was cancelled. Tapos pag pasok namin dyan, sinabihan kami na kansilado daw po yung flight namin, hindi po kami makauwi. Yun nga lang, kasi sarado na yung accommodation namin, wala na po kami makauwian. Aileen and her company have been taken to the airport where they can seek refuge while waiting for their next flight. Secretary Tugade said that they will look after their welfare as long as they can and they will coordinate with airlines and LGUs regarding their case. For these five, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.